Hi guys, in the bedroom again, I'm sitting on the bed. Um, I'm sorting through some motherboards. Well, I was. Because, um, I'll see if I can get a bit ruthless and put a couple up on eBay. Um, there's Nemo laying on top of a carrier bag. <laughs> I don't know why he likes doing that. Carrier bags and boxes, he loves them. Um,. So I've got loads of keyboards in here, but they're not really worth anything, are they? Uh, I've got a few things on eBay. I've got that girl's bike I picked up from my friends. I've sorted that out today and cleaned it up and swapped the tires. So I've got the tires I wanted from it and I've got the um, bar ends I wanted. And the um, baggage rack that I wanted off of it. They're the only bits I wanted off of it. So, uh, the rest is now up on, what the guy could sell, in full working order, is now up on um, eBay, and Gumtree actually. I've had a, quite a bit of interest from Gumtree, well, I say quite a bit of interest, it, I've had, um, I'd say, three or four messages within the first couple of hours of it going live. Oh, I know what motherboard. I was just wondering what motherboard this is. That's um, got some knackered capacitors on it. In fact, I can see one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, and just got a bulgy top. That's a bit bulgy everywhere, that one. There's about ten, eleven. Yeah, I don't trust that one either, so I'd say eleven. When I was feeling ambitious one day, I was going to change all these caps. It's, um, all these ones in here. Uh, might even be 12, because there's them two up here. That one, that one. That one. And a few, uh, down the bottom here. I can't remember what I was going to put on that PC now with that one. Who um, what have I got up the top here? Oh, I suppose I could take the motherboard out of the old IBM that's up there. So I very much doubt I'll do anything with it. I can't, don't really want to do anything with it anyway. And got, well, I could get it running. It just hasn't got a cover on the top. But I'm actually looking for um, any motherboards that might actually be worth, you know, a couple of quid to someone. The old XP ones, I can't see them being worth anything. Uh, <laughs> I can't actually reach. But, uh, yeah, I've got a few more up there to pull down. I have a look through. Actually, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six in total. There's no actual PCs that I want to get rid of. Well, even if I wanted to, I can't really get rid of the hard drives, because that's all I've got. Actually, speaking of computers, I have installed the um, video card into my brother's desktop, which is in the kitchen at the minute. some cash together to get him the memory. Um, those light clusters there, which actually originally came off a caravan, I stuck those on eBay, and I get them in view, there we go, and uh, started them at £2 and they've already got a bid on, I only put them on a matter of hours ago. I put the Pithco torch on, but there's no views whatsoever, so I may have actually put that in the wrong category or titled it wrong I I'm not sure myself I've put the little um, speedo there from a Honda Camino um, on as well that's only had a few views but don't sell I'll probably keep hold of it 
because uh, I wouldn't mind actually getting hold of the Honda Camino and doing it up as a project. Uh, yeah, the rack is over there for that bike. I did have a light on the back, but the light is knackered. Some bits on the floor somewhere. Well, actually, there's the lens. The screw had rusted in. So it was actually held on with a screw into a nut. So the screw had rusted into the nut and just wouldn't come undone. And then all the batteries had leaked inside and ruined all the switch connections and... Yeah, that was horrible. It would... Uh, well, it was beyond repair, all the damage. Which is why you shouldn't leave batteries in. In any battery operated device if you're not going to use it. Because they do leak and they do wreck that device. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm going to have to find a lamp to put on that, because I want that for my panniers. I'm hoping, once I've given it a fresh coat of paint, it'll either go on the back of this one or the back of my Claude. Preferably this one, because this is the one that I plan to use to... Um, Pedal over to Mum's when I've got it done. Because uh, it's got mud guards, it's got lights, it's lightweight, so I should be able to um, feel pretty comfortable riding that one. I'm not keen on riding mountain bikes long distance on roads because I just seem, I don't know if it's just me, but a mountain bike seems like such a chore to ride on road unless you've got road tyres on it. Which is what my um, ow, what my um, old Gary Fisher had. It had well, it had hybrid tyres on it actually. That did make it a lot easier and a lot more comfortable to ride it on the road. Um, that's the other reason I kept the tyres from the girls' bike because they were Schwab. I think I pronounced that correctly. Schwab, Schwab. I can't. I don't know how you pronounce it. I think it's German from a name like that or somewhere over there. And they were decent brand tires, decent road tires, so I thought I'd keep hold of those and put some um, knobbly-ish mountain bike tires on the um, on the um, ladies mountain bike. Yeah, well, it must be getting late because nothing's going on on Facebook. Uh, and I'm yawning. <laughs> mm -mm. Ah. Um, oh, I've got the RM working. And I've got the onboard wireless working. Um, although I did have to take the laptop top apart for a second time because without realising when I took it apart the first time to pop the um, plastic slider part switch out of the case or out of the base so I'm now left with um, a gaping hole in the side of it um, I didn't realise that I'd accidentally disconnect the um, mouse cable so I have to take the keyboard and everything out again just to plug that in. But that's now working. And if I have to turn the wireless off, I just get like a little screwdriver like this, one of these um, little precision precision screwdrivers, sorry, and just po poke it in there and just flick the switch. Because <clears throat> um, the actual plastic slider had become disconnected from the switch, which is why the slider wasn't switching the wireless on and off. It just slid up and down in the, in the base. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, apart from that, it's working fine. I can gather up the um, power adapter, which is over on there somewhere, and take a straight in at the bedroom if I wanted. It's 
still haven't found the tripod for this bloody camera. That's why everything's a bit upside down here, because I'm sure I had it down here. That's where I last had it. But, uh, it does seem to have literally sprouted legs and walked off. Because uh, I can't find the bloody thing. It's usually not far away from the camera, because I use it with the camera. But I've got a little review to do there for the Lego channel. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, the parcel that I, or the Lego that I bought off a friend on Facebook, um, he posted it yesterday, so I'm hoping it'll arrive tomorrow. I hope. Fingers crossed. Depends on the mail service. Um, knowing me, I've probably picked up the bloody tripod, going back to the tripod, and uh, thrown it somewhere, tossed it down somewhere, I don't know. It'll be, be around here somewhere. Um, I had my little brother message me on Facebook earlier, uh, want to know if I want to buy a, a bike and a computer table cheap. So he could um, get the money to uh, buy the RAM for his computer. And I thought, well, if you sell your computer table, you're not going to have a computer table to put your computer on when it's up and ready. So doesn't that sort of defeat the object? But I'm, I'm not going to let him sell it. I'll, uh, we'll find some cash somehow. I think he's a bit pissed because our sister won't pay him back the money she owe him, but I don't think she actually has it. Knowing her, she's probably spent her wages by now. But, uh, you know, can't be helped. She's got bills and things she has to pay. So if she can't do anything till her next payday, then... There ain't jack we can do about it. That's not worth crying over, really, is it? <laughs> ah! For... Just remembered why I don't walk around my floor in barefoot. I do need to get the vacuum cleaner out, because I've got my friend from France coming over... Right about the 12th of August, I think he said. I know he should... I'm hoping he'll be here for um, Crime of Carnival. That'd be awesome. I do like going to that. I'll have to go on the website and check the dates. Uh, I'm sort of looking around the room aimlessly. Well, that reminds me, I've, I've um, got a bike to pick up next week as well. Uh, from the same friend I got the ladies' bike off. Well, I sort of earned the ladies' bike. I was going to buy it off him cheap and just take the um, parts I wanted off of it, which was the baggage rack, the bar ends, and the tyres. Um, if I didn't need cash myself, I'd have just broken the whole bike up for parts. As a, it's only really worth selling as a cheap run around, because where the outer cables have rubbed on the frame, it's sort of started to rust, and... So there's some rust shown in a few places. I think it's one of them chromoly friggin' frames underneath the paintwork as well, which rust like a bitch anyway. I don't know. I really don't know why some bike manufacturers decided to make a frame out of chromoly. It's nice. Even a chrome frame is nice to look at, but they're a pain in the ass to look after. And if you're not one that likes to maintain your bike and you just want to get on it and ride it and take it into a bike shop for repairs every now and again, then it's really not the sort of bike you'd need to go and buy. <laughs> oh dear. Let's sit down, I think. What's the time? Oh, we've got plenty of time left. Uh, so, I figured, just in case we do need a bike or an extra bike to go on a bike ride with because I don't have a car and he's not driving over here because he doesn't have a car so he'll be getting the choo-choo train all the way from France to 
Norfolk, which is, well, unless we pick him up from Norwich Station, it would be three train, three train changes. No, probably more than that. Yeah, it is. It's four changes. It's quite a heck of a trip. <laughs> but, uh, I haven't got any boats because he's a lot taller than me. I think he's six foot something tall. <laughs> but, uh, this bike my friend's got is perfect size for him, really. I'd get on it and be able to ride it if I'd lowered the seat all the way down. Um, I'll get it and I'll service it and make sure it's all working fine and if we do need the extra bike to go on a bike ride we've got one there if not I can sell it <laughs> or keep it or do you know whatever I've decided to do with it uh -oh. red bar on the battery that's not good oh no two amber bars make your mind up um I actually like it when the battery dies that means I can't run on and on and on and on. <laughs> I don't have a lot of choice but to end the video. Uh, well, I think I could do that anyway because I haven't really been up to much. I've got a couple of videos to do for the Lego channel, which I suppose I could put fresh batteries in and get that out of the way because I'm not feeling too tired yet. We've got Lego to sort. You know, Mega Blocks came up on a Lego group again earlier. Um, as far as non-Lego -bra non branded building bricks go, Mega Blocks would be your better choice. It's a little bit cheaper than Lego, and at least when you build with it, your models stay together. I've had cheap brands just to experiment with and to see what cheaper brands were like and uh, <laughs> you build with them but you might, you'd be lucky if your models stay together put it that way they're not really they're not, I wouldn't even buy them for my kids really. I'd go for at the very least if I had kids I'd go for mega blocks at the very least but I'd always go to the top brand can't beat it can't beat it for quality and you can't beat it for sticking power either. Anywho, battery's about to die on this and I'm not going to bore you with Lego on this channel because it's not the Lego channel. But if you like Lego then you can go across to my Lego channel. Just just uh, search YouTube for the Bricknut 30 and you'll find me. <coughs> Um, actually, before I go, I'll just take a couple of batteries out here. No, I can't get them, I've got to start at the end and work down. Typical. I charged up these two. I know these two don't match in the milliamps. I mean, that's a 2300 and the other one is a 2700. But, uh... I was going to see if they take charge because I've had these some of these kicking around for ages, and um, see how well they last in the camera under load. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off. I might get myself prepped. Say bye bye. Now, I'm just going to look up at me. And you going to wink at me? No, I know what you want. You want me to go to bloody bed so you can curl up under the quilt beside me. Because he's got a habit of um, wanting to cuddle up under the quilt beside me. Especially on um, cooler nights as it has been recently. Anyway. I just thought I'd do a little vlog as I haven't really done anything interesting for the last few days. So I'll just sort of update you all and what not, so if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again in the next video.